Hi, I hope you enjoyed Sam and I's first ramble around the countryside. Now, if you want to see me and Sam doing lots more of those, we want you to subscribe. It's free and easy. It won't cost you a penny. There you go, the lad tells you. And the more that you subscribe, the more we can do right throughout the seasons in this wonderful country of ours. Hi Sam. Hi, where are you going to take me today? Well I thought because it's a beautiful day, right, and we need to keep cool, don't we? Yeah. So we need to look at cool wildlife, don't we? Yeah. So I thought I'd look at my pond first and then take you down the river. Will we meet this? Oh go on, bring it with you then. Well, it, it's been here quite some time. It's what you call matured now, but it's a typical garden pond and you'll be amazed how it attracts wildlife. Not only above, you know, we get things like foxes and badgers will drink in here and hedgehogs and lots of different birds will come and bathe in there, but it attracts lots of things like dragonflies and damselflies. Now dragonflies, they're the real big ones with the wings outstretched. And damselflies, they're the little ones that's fluttering around. And they're busy on a lovely day like today, laying their eggs, the females are, in all the aquatic uh, weed there. But the thing is, underneath, it's a whole new world. I mean, if you watch a, a soap on TV, there's lots of things happening on the soap, you know, like Coronation Street or East Enders, isn't there? It's all happening down there. You would not believe all the creatures that's preying on each other and hiding from each other and chasing each other. Tell you what, the best thing to do is, I've got a, a dish here, I'm gonna go under, I'm gonna go and do a bit of pond dipping and show you all the wildlife that's in there. All right? Yeah. Where's a water boatman? Now look at that, there's a dragonfly larva. Now he's a ferocious hunter. You know, I suppose you could say he's the lion of the Serengeti. And he will actually catch tadpoles and small fish. And they've got a special way of catching them. And the lower jaw, it's called the mask. And what it does, it grabs out and pulls it back in. I mean, it's like from another planet, isn't it? I mean, fantastic when you think about it. Oh look, there's a beetle. A look, a look, a beetle. Where's he? Go? There he is. Look, there he goes. It, it, it's like looking into another world, isn't it? Yeah. Have I got you into pond dipping? Yeah. Great stuff. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, I tell you what, this is my idea of heaven, isn't it? Sitting by a babbling river on a beautiful summer's day. Birds are singing. Look at the reeds, isn't they? Looking wonderful. And if we keep our fingers crossed, we might see a flash of blue. That's a kingfisher. Have you ever seen a kingfisher? No. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. You often get them across here backwards and forwards, but you have to sit quiet and you have to sometimes listen for their high pitched whistle as they come down the river. What are those black butterflies? Oh yes, I see them on the reeds over there. Yeah. Wow, yeah, look at them. I tell you what, they're not butterflies, but what they are is damselflies and that's the banded demoiselle. 
uh, and you get them along rivers and they're almost probably just emerged from the riverbed and they're all, look at them, sunbathing. Don't they look gorgeous? Yeah. And they're most probably going to be looking for a mate and, and, and just going to enjoy the sun like me and you. Come on, let's go see what else we can find. Oh, wait for me. Now along the riverbank, Sam, you often get grass snakes and these are beautiful aquatic creatures and they'll sunbathe along here on a day like today, mainly in the mornings. And if you look hard enough, you can often see their cast off skins. Hey, look at that. Come around here. Look at this. Oh, there's a cast off skin. Look at that. Isn't that magnificent? Yeah. And that's its whole skin. What it's done is got rid of it all because what's happening the grass snake a few times a year starts to grow but the skin doesn't so what it does is slips it all off in one go and then scurries off look at that marvelous why does my skin not come off in a big lump <laughs> well it's quite simple your skin all the while is flaking Permanently flaking. Have you ever been um, in the living room when your mum's complaining about the dust everywhere? Yeah. Well, most of the dust is dead skin and it's coming off you all the time and floating into the atmosphere. So yours comes off in bits, grass snakes come off in one big lump. <laughs> I think I'll take that for my museum. Ooh. Oh. Well, this, believe it or not, is called a teasel. And you often get them along riverbanks, and it's only a, a little baby at the moment, but they'll grow very tall. And the flower on the top there, a little bit later on, will turn to a lovely purple flower, attract bees and all sorts of insects. And then eventually, when the seeds are ripe, it'll attract things like goldfinches to come and feed on it. So it's a very important plant. Why is it called a teasel? No, that's a good question because it was used way back in the old days before we had all the modern methods we've got nowadays and it was used to tease out wool because when you used to shear a sheep you had a big load of wool and the heads which were big and dry in the autumn you could just pull out the wool it teased the wool mm. amazing amazing yeah come on i think we're all teaseled up here oh. Hey Sam, this is one of my favourite trees, it's called the Crack Willow and you always get them growing along river banks. It's a very important tree because it holds a, a large insect population so it's very important for nature conservation. What? That's crackers, why is it called the Crack Willow? Hang on, I, I do the funnies, I do the funnies, but I've got to admit, it's, a, it's unusual, isn't it, crack? Now, it actually produces seeds, but also it's famous for, watch this, cracking. And often branches will crack, drop into the river, and they'll get washed downstream, and it'll get stuck into a bank or on a shingle bay, and it'll just grow another crack willow. That's amazing. <laughs> Tell you what, uh, Sam, I'm ready for a cup of tea, aren't you? Yeah. Come on then, let's go and get one. They've got the right sense, look, they're under shade. Let's go and follow the cows, shall we? <laughs> 